Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. This is a very quick video to just give you guys a little bit of an update as far as what you might be seeing on my channel. We've got some changes coming up in our life and I wanted to keep you apprised of the situation. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rachel. I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom who really enjoys colorful eyeshadow. I do usually upload several videos every week and I hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. In case you're curious, I did film today's eyeshadow look. It's not a full tutorial. It's probably going to be turned into a reel. That's my plan, like a full tutorial as a reel, but I also have a plan to turn it into just a little reveal, reel, that's hard to say, over on Instagram. So check my Instagram and also keep an eye on my channel. Hopefully this look is going to go up soon. I used mainly the Whistler Snow Lodge palette from uh, Nomad, but I also used one brown from the Limoncello palette from ColourPop. And I think the look is pretty. It's actually not quite as sparkly as I was hoping it would be, but when I finally finished it all, I was thinking, you know, it's actually really pretty because it's, it's smoky. It's a little bit dramatic, a little sultry, not quite as sparkly but it's still pretty. Anyway, so let me just uh, get, get into the meat of today's video. If you've been here in the last couple of months, you may remember that I've mentioned a few times that we were hoping to move. Our lease is coming to an end, and each time it's coming to an end, we've looked around to see what might be happening in the real estate market. We've been talking about buying, but it's more likely that we would move to another rental. Currently, we're in a townhome in an apartment complex, and we really just want a house that gives us a little bit more storage, a little bit more space. We have a family of five now. We'd love to have a bit of a yard, you know, there were certain things we were looking for in our next home but we also possibly most importantly wanted to be close to my husband's job because currently he spends about an hour round trip in the car and if we could move closer to his job then we would save a lot of money in gas and a lot of time he is in school right now so he needs all the extra time he can get for studying so anyway we've just kept an eye on the market as we've come to the end of our lease knowing that we could go month to month which of course raises the price or knowing that we could again, sign another longer lease with the complex and just continue building our savings account, paying off our car, etc. Anyway, today, as of about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> I found out that we were approved for a house that we had applied to rent. Uh, we applied like two days ago and all the paperwork went through, so we were approved. So what that means for my YouTube channel is that there might be fewer videos going up in the next month or so because I have an entire household of five to pack up in the next three and a half weeks. I have two children under three and it's just going to be a bit of a challenge. Now I'm not saying that I won't be uploading at all. I'm just saying it might slow down a bit because I need to be prioritizing my time to getting the house ready to pack. That may impact how many videos I can film realistically between now and then. So I just wanted to let you guys know that there will likely be a bit of a a slowdown, if not a lull in my upload schedule. Ideally, I'd be getting up early mornings and filming and then moving on with the rest of my day, but I still have to account for editing. I might be able to film outside of packing, but I still need to be editing, and that takes up a little bit of time as well. So just to let you guys know, to expect that, hopefully it won't really mess up things too much. And then I had mentioned in a previous video that we were considering canceling internet, and that could also theoretically affect how quickly I'm able to upload. I might need to consolidate my uploads into a couple of days a week when I have a longer time of internet access at the library or at a friend's house or whatever, just because it takes up so much bandwidth to upload from my phone to YouTube. It's crazy. That hasn't been decided yet. I'm kind of thinking we'll probably keep internet which therefore won't affect my uploads at all. It really just comes down to filming. Now, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the house because I'm quite excited and uh, I think it's gonna be a good fit for us. The house that we have been approved for is one mile from my husband's job, a mile. That's just so great. So any day where I need our car, because we share a car, I can just quickly zip him over to work and zip back home or he can walk to work and I've got the car which is a huge difference from what we've been doing for the last several years. And that would be lovely. Now, again, if we're saving gas, it doesn't make sense for me to jump in the car and go places all throughout the week, but it's an option, you know, it's a consideration. So that'll be nice. The house has three bedrooms, so we can still have the same sleeping arrangements we have now, and my husband can have an office, which means that when he comes home to study, he doesn't have to do it with noise canceling headphones on the couch. He can do it in an office. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to get my art area back, which would be fantastic. I have a small art business, and since we moved to this townhome, 
my creativity in that has kind of waned a bit until recently it's picking up again for which i'm so grateful but not having a designated area for art really cramped me and made me feel kind of creatively stifled and i got even more into eyeshadow <laughs> but anyway i might be able to get an art area back the house has a very big living room and a fireplace it's got a kitchen of small kitchen and a dated kitchen but it doesn't have to be perfect to be good enough and it does come with all of the appliances it comes with the fridge the washer dryer and a dishwasher i think the kitchen is probably comparable if not maybe a little bit smaller than what we have here in the apartment but i haven't personally seen it my husband walked through it i didn't and then the, the dining area it, it, my husband says is long enough to have our full table even ex with the leaves added in to extend it that would be nice as well it has a very big yard on a corner lot so I can send the kids outside to play. That would be great in a quiet, decent neighborhood. Again, it's a little bit older, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just because I don't get granite countertops doesn't mean that the house doesn't literally have everything that we need. And it has a garage, which means that all of the storage, which currently makes us feel cramped in our townhome, can go in the garage. And it's things that you use often enough to not warrant getting rid of, but you don't want to look at them every day. <laughs> So I'm really excited. I'm excited about a large living room because we'd like to have people over just entertain a bit more and it's hard to do that in a cramped space. It's not that our friends care. It's just it's just a little bit less comfortable, a little bit more and I would like, my husband would like, and probably realistically, our friends would like the option to spread out a bit more comfortably. It'll be a great playing space for the children. The whole house is carpeted except for the kitchen and dining area. It's got two full bathrooms. I'm excited. I'm really, I'm really excited. Again, I found out that we were approved 15 minutes ago at this point, and I'm just very, very excited for this next chapter. But I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys what was happening and how it might affect my uploads again. This is YouTube, I'm not monetized, it's just a hobby, it doesn't bring in any income, so sometimes something's gotta give. And when it comes to prioritizing my time, as much as I enjoy, really, really enjoy making these videos to share with you, in the next several weeks, the priority is going to be filling boxes and getting ready to move because it's a month from today. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Remember to check my channel if you wanna see this eyeshadow tutorial or at least a reel involving it. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work out, but I do plan on making it into a tutorial as long as the filming went fine. And uh, I just appreciate you so much. I hope you have enjoyed this little chatty video. I'd love to hear your comments, of course. Do check the description box for some video or playlist suggestions. There's always lots of information down there. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video. Have a great day, bye.